We're going to discuss on how to operate a cremator, how to load it and start the fire on it. And when you start installing a first operation of a cremator, every control, every burner comes with a heat probe. You want to make sure you remove the rubber O-ring from the heat probe. Slide it in to the unit. You need to make sure that the tip of the heat probe is entered into the, into the tank two to three inches. And you fill it and finish it up, you tighten up the nut to make sure everything is tight. After you have that up, the burner is already on. You, you have this, as we have the door open right now, this is your load door right here, your load. You want to enter your, your uh, carcasses, your birds, animals, what have you, into this center of the unit. You get it three quarter full. You can close the load door. Now we're ready to operate the burner itself. With the new control, you hit the step one or the power button once it comes up with the brand of the, of the burner. You hit it a second time, it's saying set. This is where you want to adjust your burn time. Whether you hit the up, you make it longer or make it shorter. Right now, we're gonna set this as two hours. Now that it is set, you have your step two button, which is your start stop button. You can press that. The burner will start. It's reading the temperature as it is right now inside the, the cremator. And again, this is your timer option right now. So right now it's reading 86 degrees Fahrenheit and the timer is set at two hours. And it's going through its cycle right now, starting to burn. As you can see, smoke coming through there, which means it ignited inside. And now it should be running through its cycle and burning the animals' carcasses inside the tank. You can also see it's definitely heating up as the temperature is rising rather quickly. This will go through its cycle and it'll keep timing itself down. It's running at two hours. It'll probably turn down to one hour, 59 minutes here shortly. And it's going through and as long as it goes through the entire cycle, it'll, it will stop at the end of the cycle. It'll stop at the end of the burn time and you can go ahead and clean out the units. Now, as it's burning, you're gonna get some good yellow flame in there. You're not supposed to open the door while it's operating because you can get, you know, it's cause damage, uh, harm to you, bodily harm. We just, that's just to show you that what the flame is going to look like, that you have a large flame inside the unit as it's operating. 